Well, I think PlayStation pulled a PlayStation 3 move at the announcement of PlayStation VR by announcing a whopping $550 US price tag, which just to be perfectly clear, is $50 more than the actual console itself. I get it, VR technology is hot, PlayStation thinks they have a really cool product on their hand, um, but I think they may have outpriced themselves slightly from what the original intention of what virtual reality used to be. See, back when PlayStation VR 1, I guess, launched, it was very clear that Sony was kind of just testing the waters. They didn't really know what VR would turn into. The big title at the time, honestly, was the Skyrim port. Um, believe it or not, that was kind of like the bundle that it came with. And while Sony did dab a little bit with the light gun and some other fun little indie-esque games, probably ripped right off of Steam, honestly, it never really gained that mainstream attraction. I don't know if Sony's trying to make that happen for PlayStation VR 2, but it seems like with this price point, they're really doubling down on what they think the experience could be. And I think it really alienates the core audience, myself included, of early adopters who are just, eh, let's try it and see if it's worth getting. But the question is, is it something that you want? Well, obviously only you can answer that. I will say that I think if this was a little bit less, maybe $100 less, I think I'd be more enthusiastic about it. I've been on the fence whether or not I want to get it after reading the blog post this morning, which, by the way, I will post in the description box below. While you're down there, consider subscribing to the channel. This is a blog post from Isabel Tomatis. It is a vice president of the software and, uh, I'm sorry, of the hardware and peripherals division. Um, goes on to talk a lot about that PlayStation VR 2 is officially launching on September 22nd, 2023. And they're also going to sell a Sense Controller charging station, which is an additional $50 uh, to be utilized specifically with the controller. will also launch on the same day. You probably want to get a case too. Um, so you're probably talking north of, oh, I'd say like $630 to $650 to get the whole set in a nice, easy way to store it. Unless you want to put it back in the box, but I don't think you're going to want to do that. Um, the base set uh, does come with the actual PlayStation VR 2 headset, the PlayStation Sense controllers, which are these two paddles right here, and a pair of stereo headphones, which are probably like little tiny earbuds. Uh, nothing really exciting there. Um, they are going to be selling a bundle with the Horizon Call of the Mountain. This has been a probably the, the flagship piece of software for PlayStation VR which looks really, really cool. I hope it's more exciting than Horizon 2, which I kind of lost interest in a couple of times. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is a flagship title in terms of it seems to be more of an experience, which goes back to my original point that a lot of the PlayStation VR 1 titles were just kind of like ideas. This, if you're asking for this kind of price, if you're demanding somebody to pay more than the original console, you're really at this point selling fully fleshed out titles. So can this deliver? Is this really a game that you're going to sink 20, 25 hours into and feel like you got a good sense of satisfaction from it? Again, remains to be seen. Um, they also sell an independent VR Sense controller charging station, which will allow you to dock the headset into the controller to charge it. You don't need this. Um, however, it's nice without having to um, plug it in to charge it. And it's it says here, they can charge it through a simple click in design without having to connect to a PlayStation 5 console, which is oh, such a bore. I mean, you, know, you got all those USB consoles on the front, but you're sitting on the couch, there's cables everywhere, just buy the charging station. Um, they also said that they'll be releasing more titles over the next month. I've seen a lot of those. I don't know if they were really a PlayStation announcements or just more kind of like leaks. I saw a lot of patent office stuff basically saying, oh, so-and-so was trademarked to this. You know, Suda51 is doing this and Company X is doing that. And this title has now been taken and this is the name, etc. I haven't seen anything formally from Sony. If they did release it, throw that in the comments below. I mean, I do see this article over here with some of the new games announced, but it seems like there's way more coming out than that. But this is the kind of press they need, not mine, 
Uh, I'm kind of shitting on it, but they need this kind of press to be like, hey, look, these are fun games. These are the experiences you can expect. Don't feel like you're buying into like a dead end console or you're buying into a piece of tech which may or may not have a long shelf life. So this is the kind of stuff they actually need to do. Um, additionally, they go on to talk about a lot of technical specifications. I did a separate video on this before. I'll also, I'll also post a link to that in the description below. Uh, my former job, I am not an engineer anymore, but in my former life when I was an engineer, I went through all this in great detail and explained some of the technical aspects behind the choices that they made and some of the drawbacks and some of the pros and cons of the devices and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in the technical jargon, read and uh, you know, click on that link below. Um, it'll take you to it and it'll be on my playlist. You could find it there. But um, remains to be seen again if things like vibration or if the um, you know, the wider viewing angle or the better screen actually, I think the screen will, but vibration, I think probably honestly, and the controllers too. Is this something that we are going to be excited for? Like vibration on your head? I don't know. Maybe you have to let me know if you get one, right? Um, but it goes on to the technical specifications and then it wraps up the blog post there. They are offering a raffle. Um, uh, if you uh, win the raffle, you will be uh, given the opportunity to be one of the first to buy it directly from the store. Similarly, what they did with the uh, new PlayStation controller, although that wasn't a raffle, but uh, they're going to be selling them from their store first exclusively is what it appears to be. And then they will launch to other big box retailers uh, at some point later on, at least is my understanding. So I guess the question for you is, is this something you're interested in? Is this something that makes you excited? And, and is this a good competition to some of the other high end VR experiences that you can purchase, namely on your computer? Um, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I mean, PlayStation 5 definitely is a monster piece of hardware, and some of the games and experiences that have come out for it are just honestly world class. However, we all know that games look best on PC. This has been true of any game since the beginning of time. So I suspect the true enthusiasts are going to be dabbling in the Steam Labs and in the modification and finding little tweaks to some of their favorite games with a headset that connects directly to a PC. I don't know if PlayStation has finally solidified what they think is a solid piece of hardware for this console. I don't know if PlayStation has solidified the idea that this is gonna go toe to toe with some of these other big retailers and, and these other big experiences. Do they have enough experiences that are gonna make you lose your mind? Are we gonna see God of War virtual reality? Are we gonna see uh, uncharted virtual reality? Are we going to see the last of us virtual reality? If they can start finding ways to tie this stuff in, maybe this will move the needle a little bit more, but I, I kind of feel like from what I've seen, lukewarm reaction based solely on the price. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.